So the Dubai Sevens is just around the corner. Fiji are looking strong as always. The first leg of the 2023-24 season. We've recently had the Oceania competition in which Fiji, they did well, but they want to get that gold heading into Dubai in this preview. We're going to be looking through at their squad, their fixtures that are coming up, and then a prediction at the end of how far we think they'll be able to go. But we will start with their squad. The Fijians announced it earlier on in the week. And they are looking dangerous as always. A few notable names missing from this side. The likes of YCN Natungu, nowhere to be seen. Also no Joshua Vakunara Billy. I think they've gone with a few younger players heading towards that Olympics, which is just around the corner as well. But in their squad, it is Josisi Batitarenga, Elikimi Vunaki, a bit of a new name in the seventh circuit for the Fijians. Kimineli Rasaku, he was playing in the Oceania Sevens competition, looking extremely strong throughout the matches there. Jeremiah Matana, of course, a lot of size to him, always hard to tackle, normally lures in the two defenders, which opens up space on the outside for the rest of that Fijian side. Felipe Satoranga, Natava Kurisau, also Rubeni Kabu. So a few of these names you will notice aren't the same as what we saw last year for Fiji. And the awesome thing with this Fijian side is they can switch out five players and they still manage to bring in new ones who are just as strong, if not maybe even more potential than some of those men who have been left out. Sivu Mothunothangi, Vui Viwa Nadovalu. He's always going to give you an extremely solid performance. Knows how to score tries. I want to say he's going to be one of the leading try scorers for Fiji throughout their 2023-24 season. Josefa Talatholo. He will also probably be right up there in terms of tries scored. He's had a few more captaincy opportunities as of late. Did so in the Oceania Sevens. He's got size. He's got speed. He's got everything that a Fijian player needs to be successful in the seventh circuit. Manueli Maisamoa, a man who I'm looking forward to seeing take to the field once more for the flying Fijians. Filippo Bucayaro and also Torio Vailawa, who for me was the best player out of any Fijian in the Oceania sevens. The man has got pure pace. He breaks the line with ease and he is definitely going to be one of the keys for Fiji in their upcoming competitions. But speaking of upcoming competitions, of course, the Dubai Sevens, the first leg of the eight, they are in Pool C alongside the USA, France and Great Britain. Now, a lot of people are considering this pool as quite a close one, although I still feel Fiji should be somewhere in the top two for Pool C. Their first game, it is going to be taking place at 7.05 p.m. New Zealand time. That is up against the USA and it's a little bit of an unknown at the moment how prepared the USA are for this competition. Of course, we saw Fiji in the Oceania Sevens more recently, so that gives us a bit of an indication of how they are progressing. They were winning a lot of their games comfortably. They got unlucky in their game up against New Zealand, which then cost them their spot in the final. Instead, it was New Zealand versus Samoa. But other than that, Fiji winning every single one of their games, and they've got the potential of doing the same for the Dubai Sevens here. Their next game, it will be up against France after that US game. It has taken place at 10.52, so they've got about three and a half hours in between games. It's not a lot of time. You've got to make sure you're firing each and every performance. You do not want to leave any points out there. And then their last game, it is going to be up against Great Britain. That is at 5 a.m. New Zealand time on the Sunday morning. And that one could determine who makes their way through to the next stage in the Dubai Sevens. But now we are up to that stage of trying to predict how far in the competition we feel Fiji will be able to go. For me, I predicted very early on, and I don't even know if it's possible but I've predicted a New Zealand versus Fiji final. And I predict that Fiji will walk away as Dubai Sevens champions. I just feel from what we saw in the Oceania Sevens, they had so much more that they could do. And they were still winning games comfortably. And if they can get their selection right, if they can get their gameplay right early on, Vailawa is going to be extremely dangerous. Nodovalo, Talatholo, Mothinothangi, Matana, the list goes on for Fiji of players who could step up and really be a problem this year. But I do thank you all very much for tuning in to this short preview. Do let me know who you think will be the standout players for the Fijians in Dubai and also how far you feel Fiji will progress throughout the first leg of the seven circuit. But thank you all very much for tuning in. We will be live on the channel doing the commentary for the Fijian matches as well as quite a few of the other Dubai games. So be sure to check that out as well. But thank you all very much for tuning in. And I will see you all for the next one.